96.3. Second, 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 second date update. All right, got Barbara on the line. Barbara had a great first date with Zach, but no second date. We're going to see if we can help her out. First of all, Barbara, tell everybody how you met Zach. Um, so we met on Tinder, you know, the, the modern way to do it. Okay, fantastic. And that led to a date. What did you guys do on your date? So we met up at a food truck park. Um, we got a little snack and some beer. It was so much fun, mainly because Zach uh, brought baby chicks to the date. It was just absolutely precious. He just like brought this little basket with the baby chicks, and we played with them and fed them. I know it was it was so sweet and super fun. But then he disappeared. I don't I don't understand. Did anything go wrong on the date? We always ask, but I mean, did I don't know, maybe uh, there was some type of code violation from the uh, food truck park for bringing in a chicken? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I don't know. I mean, it was pretty chill, you know, like outdoors, like everybody was like doing their own thing. So, no, I mean, n- nothing weird happened that I recall. Well, all right. So let's have us give him a call, see if we can figure out what's going on, see if we can get your second date, okay? Okay, thanks. We've gotten a hold of Zach, and he's agreed to come on the air with us. So, Zach, do you remember going out with Barbara? Uh, yes, I do. Well, she gave us a call because she said you guys had a great first date. I guess you went to a food truck park and met there, but she said she never heard from you after that, and she asked us to call you on her behalf. Yes, so uh, we had a great time um, at the food truck, and I brought five baby chicks, you know, because they were cute, and I thought she'd enjoy them. Which she did, but when I got home, I noticed I only had four, so uh, she stole one of my chicks on a date. So that's why I did not call her back, because she's a thief, and I want my chick back. Zach, are you sure that uh, Barbara stole this chick? I mean, could it be maybe that the chick just wandered off or something, or uh, you, you know, lost it on the way home? No, she was holding one chick pretty much the whole date. She had it in her hand. She was holding one the whole time. And she never put it back in the basket. And did you ask for it back at the end of the date? Well, I mean, like, you know, we're having a good time. You know, I, I didn't think she would steal it. I didn't think I had to say, hey, can I have my chick back? I mean, I didn't say she could keep them. I just bought them, you know, to, for company, just to do stuff. And you didn't think to tack the basket to see if there were five chicks before you left? Well, I mean, like, you know, we're having beer, you know, I'm trying to, you know, flirt with her. Yeah, I, I was preoccupied. I, I didn't think I had to, like, you know count every 10 minutes how many chicks I had because I didn't know I was going on a date with a uh, thief. Well, here's the deal. Like we said, Barbara asked us to give you a call because she really enjoyed the date. She didn't mention anything about missing chicks or anything. She's on the other line. Can we bring her in on this conversation so she has a right to kind of tell her side of the story and and defend herself? Yes. uh, Yeah, you bring her on and hopefully she admits it and gives me a chick back. All right. Barbara, are you there? Yes, I am here and really confused about being called a chicken thief. Um, it's a, actually a chick thief. They're chicks. They're not chickens yet. <laughs> okay, but I don't have your chicken bigger. buddy. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have your chick. I don't have your chick. Robert, did you not I, hold I on it, to the chick the whole time? I Well, of course, when we were hanging out, I was playing with the chick, but I put it back. Why would I want a chick? I don't need any chicks. I, I live in an apartment. I don't, I don't need a chicken. I, what? First of all, you're the one who ended the date early. And so that's why I was getting all my stuff together because out of blue, you said, oh, I actually have to go. So, you know, maybe that's why you were thinking of stealing the chick. <laughs> what? I am so utterly confused. There's a misunderstanding here. Something else must have happened. I, yeah, I mean, I had an, uh, an appointment afterwards that I had to go to, but. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, you're like, all of a sudden, you're like, oh, this chick is so cute. I love it. I want it. I want to. I, I want you with mine. You're talking baby talk to the chick. And then all of a sudden, oh, I have an appointment. I got to go. And then I'm grabbing all my stuff. I'm getting the chick. I'm trying to throw the beer out, wrap up the food. And then I have four chicks. Sounds like perfect conditions to lose a chicken that is completely your fault. I'm sorry I had to go. But... I, yeah, but if you, you put, I would not have done that. What is going on? Yeah, but you said you put the chick back in the basket, so then I should have five, right? Because only one chick was out of the basket. You didn't have a lid on your friggin' basket. That's not my fault. All right, so you're just not going to admit that you stole my chick. I promise I didn't steal the chick. All I want is my chick back. I want my chick back. I am speechless. I don't have your chick I'm sensing some anger issues along with all of this. Well, you're so a liar. And you have my chick. And you probably have it in your apartment. My chick okay, needs to stretch obvious- his legs out. It's probably in a small little apartment, cramped up, probably in a shoebox. You don't know how to raise you don't a chick. have your chick, buddy. Oh, my gosh. 
I'm sensing that we're probably not going to go on a second date, and it's for the best. No, no, and um, I will never bring my chicks on any other date ever again. You just scarred me from introducing you my chicks. You should be more responsible first date. with your animals, buddy. It sounds like you can't. You need to count your chickens before they all hatch as well, and be on your way, sir. We're, we're going to jump in here because our whole goal is to see if you two want to go on a second date. It sounds like it's obviously not going to happen. Was it chicken thief? No, not me. You're a responsible chicken dad? I don't oh. think so. Uh, all, all right, all right. Obviously, this is not going to happen. Zach, thank you for coming on the show. We we appreciate your time. All right, thanks. Barbara, obviously, you didn't get the uh, answer you were hoping for, but at least you got a little closure when it comes to Zach. I just had no idea that it would turn out this way, but I guess now I know. Thanks. You know, I don't even know if bringing chickens on a date is really the best idea in retrospect. <laughs> or chick. Uh, I, was he serious, though? Oh, was yeah. I think, I think he was totally serious. I think he was very upset because he only has four chicks, and he lost one somewhere on the path home, and he's blaming Barbara, which I'm going to be honest, I'm kind of... I te- don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think he's making this up just because he doesn't want to go out with her. Uh, that's a possibility. We, you know, we've we've had people go down that route before. I don't think Barbara would steal a chick because, like she says, she lives in an apartment. That just would be ridiculous to try to keep a chick in an apartment. Well, it just sounds crazy to me.